it's Lynn from Lily C Designs and today I'm coming on to make a version of this card. Um, I made this yesterday and the video is a bit blurry so I'm going I'm redoing the video. I'm using Flourishing Phrases stamp set, the pretty label punch, and I've got four inks, so lemon lime twist. Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, and Coastal Cabana. Just slip those along there. I've got Coastal Cabana base, which is half a sheet of A4, and then scored in the middle to create a, um, a standard. A6 card base. I've got a bit of Whisper White which is cut just five, uh, half a centimetre shorter so that it creates a nice little border around. That's for the inside. I've got an envelope because we know how I like doing the stamping up the envelopes. Some um, Whisper White to do my stamping and then I've got a little bit or a strip of the wood textured DSP and that is five and a half by ten and a half so that is going to sit across there like that and we are going to just do a little bit of uh, tearing to create an edge so we'll, we'll do that now and I just want to create a little bit of a rough edge on here so I'm going to tear that towards me and it just gives a nice little ruffled edge. Now this is a um, case card so I'm casing this from um, page 18 of the annual catalogue. Um, just wanted to show you how you can, uh, it's basically copied straight for straight but um, I'm making a few little tweaks. So let's do the stamping straight away. Um, I so I've got uh, the big image from this stamp set and I'm just going to create um, a bit of a background with this across the page. So one that way. one that way. I'm not going to worry too much about it there because this is going to cross cover that there. And keeping with the same, um, the same, sorry I'm trying to find a scrap so that I don't ruin, there we are, I've got a strap. So, same stamp, create a little bit of a, if you can see that, a little bit of interest on the flap and then I'm going to do that just so that there's a little watermark there and then I'm actually going to do the same Sorry, I need that. I'm going to stamp off and just create a little bit of a stamping along the edge. I think I quite like that. So that's that. And then we have to do the other floral images. So I'm going to start with the gorgeous grape. And we need two of those. I've got my stamp and scrub off to the side. I want two in the Highland Heather. I 
lovely. And then one final go with that big stem. I want to get just the inside bit. So I've got a sponge dauber. And I'm just going to daub around there and just get that quite faintly. There we go, two images there, so that's lovely. And then we shall get the leaves. So we're going to do three of these. And then one final bit, let's put that over there. One final bit is the sentiment, and I'm going to do that in Coastal Cabana. Do that there. Oh. It seems that I've got a little bit of ink on the edge. You do have to be careful. These are new, new ink pads and they're quite juicy. They are the new style. But there we go. That's we'll do that again quickly. There we are. So that's all the stamping. make sure that these new star ink pads click shut so there we go I am going to take this away so I thought I'd come on and just show you very quickly how easy it is to fussy cut these images out um, I wanted to demonstrate that you don't always need to have dyes to create or obtain a really nice stamped um, die cut you can just fussy cut it and um, I'm just using the paper snips and trying I'm still learning at this but I you're supposed to move the cardstock rather than sort of move your move the scissors so that was the whole image in the gorgeous grape and then I'm cutting out the inside part of the flower in the Highland Heather and this was a little bit more tricky because I didn't want the outside leaves um, I wanted to try and just have the white border around so it's not perfect but hey it's a homemade card so we're never gonna it's never gonna be perfect and only you you know what it's supposed to look like um, so there we are it doesn't take long at all and I do the same with the leaves again just trying to leave a little bit of a white edge around the stamped image it doesn't have to be perfect just moving the cardstock to get it um, cut out and then it's just practice really that makes it perfect moving that card around that's quite a good way of seeing it um, just to get the centre of the flower. So that's me done all my fussy cutting. So we'll put it all the card together now. So we'll start with the inside, and we've got some multi-purpose Tombow glue. And as you know, we don't need very much. This comes out quite quickly. Pop that on there. So it's got a nice little border all the way around the edge and then oh that's quite nice but because I tore the cut the cardstock in front of me it's got this nice ruffled edge on this edge so I've got to have that bit but actually it would look quite nice with that there wouldn't it let's just do that and I went ahead and I punched the sentiment out with the pretty label punch as well so let's just stick that down and we'll start putting these together now I'm going to use dimensionals in between 
those guys. I'd quite like off having it a little bit offset. So I'm going to stick that there. Put one there. A couple of dimensionals on the back of sentiment stick that there it's quite easy to place those where you want them and I've cut this to a part because I wanted to stick one more coming out there. And having that as a trio. So there we go. A little bit too much came out of there, so we'll stick that on there, stick that on there, Oops. squiggle that around a little bit to get that where we want it, lovely, and then I'm using some of these iridescent sequins to get them Add a final touch now. I'll pick them up, pick them up already. If I can get that working, mm, upside down. Let's see. There we go. Use my bit of spaghetti. Oh. Fingers and thumbs have oh, landed right in the spot. So there we go. That's two versions of that. I've got a little bit of Wink of Stella just to add a little bit of glimmer to the center of those flowers so full details will be on my blog which you can access from a link below and uh, subscribe and i will see you again next week thanks for watching